Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calmlands. Tipping out into our brand new windmill right there. I love this. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, we're not going to be actually doing anything with this one for quite some time. So I will close it down again. And we'll leave that one shut. And we will quickly go in here and we will set the production going. So we're on oat flour right in here. I want to activate that one. I've got six and a half thousand there. Not sure how many this is going to end up giving us, but we're going to get a lot of flour out of it. So we'll just leave. Oh! Oh! That's so cool. I am so glad that I put it this way round. I'm so glad I put it this way round. I didn't realize that the sails would actually spin as well. That is fantastic. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. I'm very glad we put it up on top of the hill. We, we need to drive down to the bottom now. Back to our farm. And we'll have a look from over this side. And we will see if we can see the thing actually working. So our next goal is we want to get a second tractor. So I can be doing things with one tractor while I've got hired help working with the other tractors. So it's kind of the the main thing that I want to work towards next is getting this next tractor. We should be able to do that. We can plant our crops and so on. We can do a little bit of grass cutting just there as well. Um, but like I'd like to be able to do that now. I'd like to be able to go and do some grass cutting and at the same time do some uh, like work on the plowing and, and things like that so I'm just going to bring that one over to there that one I'm alright leaving outside for a bit and instead we will put these under cover because these you don't want these going rusty and yeah I absolutely agree with what some people have said oh you know I'm I farm in real life and I don't like the whole the machinery has to be undercover most of our machinery stays outside all year round i've not been able I've, I've never found a farm that is able to do that that has the kind of climate that i live in um it's extremely wet all year round here i mean you can but you have to absolutely you, you have to get a spray can um, hook it up to the airline, you, the, like a spray painter, and you fill that thing up full of oil, and you drench your machinery in oil, essentially. Uh, cover everything in oil, and then you can do it. So that's the only time where it actually does work. So what have we got here? One, two, three, four. We've got a seven furrow reversible plow right here. This is a beast. This is an absolute beast of a plow. We are going to use this one. Let me fold it up behind us. Like that. We're going to use this one to plough a new field. This is our next little project that we want to work on. Am I going to be able to get out of here without grounding? Nope. Doesn't like that, does it? <laughs> well, there's not a lot that we can do about that. Right, let's scoot across here. Probably should have just left it like that, to be honest. And we'll go here. Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fold that round the other way. So, you can see where the edge of our field is. Compared to the line that we're working on. Now, I don't have GPS on this tractor. I do have the GPS mod, but I don't have GPS on this tractor, which I kind of, I would like to have GPS for doing this. I can't afford it because it costs 15,000. Um, I suppose really GPS wouldn't be an aftermarket feature on a tractor like this. It should have it, but this tractor doesn't for what I, so I'm not going to add it in. I'm not going to cheat it in or anything like that. I, you know, we haven't got it. Our new tractor, maybe we will buy GPS because it is going to make life a lot easier for us. Um, if you take a look in here, 
anything on here gps yeah it's 15 grand we don't have 15 grand and i'm not about to go and spend 15,000 on it either so hedgerows was something that i was talking about i would like to make some decent hedges in here now i still want to make decent hedges and stuff it's like uh, along the edge of the road and also the boundary that we've got going up here so what i'm gonna do is for this one we'll go decoration and we've got all of these various fences and walls and things like that um i'm kind of wondering about having a, a, a formal hedgerow like this just on this one or I'll, either that or a fence and this i used that fence up in the mountain in the last series so i won't use that one here i don't want just a wire fence on this i don't want to do that on this field although said i don't want to do it but now i'm actually really tempted i love this fence this one i i think we'll go with this fence here just for our first one and maybe we'll use the stop fence approach for later ones so i'm gonna go with our fence is going to go down to here now that straight line goes all the way along here all right, so we've got our land here. I know that it comes out that far. All the way over there. And in our straight line. So I'm thinking, you know, it would sort of go over that way a bit. So we'll take our fence and we will put that one about there. And then I'm going to run that one all the way up here like this. Oh, I know what I'll do. I can use the painting feature to mark the edge of where our land is. So I'm just going to use this one. If I make that one square bigger like that. And then I can just use the square paint. Now I look up through there. I'm sitting on the arrow, so I'm a little bit back from it. So we won't try and get greedy going up through here. I was thinking sort of over that way a little bit, but I won't. I'll do it right there. I can run a line. You know, it would be easier if I actually run a dark line like this. I can run a square line like that. I can use the square on this and that will get me a dead straight line that will go all the way up. I'm up to the corner now, just trying to figure out where the next bit goes. That's so going to go along here. And slowly just paint my way along. Trying to keep as straight a line as I can so that I can use this for marking out where the fence is going to go. So we've actually gone up a little bit higher there when we did the mowing, which suggests to me that I can... Because that, I've done a fairly straight line up through there. And I've done a nice straight line up through there. I did move from the line a bit here. So I think what I can actually get away with is to move that line up. Just a little bit more. I'm going to paint this back in again afterwards. This is the advantage of having the free landscaping. It means that we can actually do the landscaping properly. It takes a minute to do it, which is why I'm actually cutting some of it out. Now bring that all the way back over there. Like that. 
Right. I think that's probably going to be okay there. So if I then go into decoration, and we're going to go with just this fence for this one. So that one there, I'm going to do this as a straight line, and it's going to be right the way along here. And it's going to go to about there. I'm going to have wide verges. I am going to do wide verges. I don't want to be messing around getting too close to the road. Uh, there's not a lot of road on this map, so there's one thing that I think that I will do is we will sort of set a, a wide verge. I could probably go a little bit closer than that. Not quite as close as I cut because we did have problems with it not quite uh, dropping all of the crop down properly. So we'll go there. And I'll take that across to here like this and then that's going to bring us up over there like that and then this is going to be kind of angled in I don't know if I should let's bring that back out that way a little bit there we go like that so that one will run down there. And I think we will put a gateway. We'll put two gates in here. So I, I want the, the bigger gate. I'm going to have one gate that will go here on this corner right here. Rain too steep doesn't like that. Okay, apparently I'm not going to do that. Which means that I may struggle to put one up here as well. I want one on that corner. That would be the best place to put it. Uh, so if I demolish that bit of fence right there. Huh. Right. Really doesn't like that at all, does it? At all. Right, well, the original idea was that I would be able to get out that way because I'm going to want to be able to do that at some point for, like, leaving the field. But I guess what we could do is maybe terraform down... Well, no, no, no. Actually, we can terra we can terraform this bit up here. So what we'll do is, first up, let's demolish a little bit more of the fence back that way and that way. And then we will use this one and kind of pop in a level area just in here. I don't really want that. I want to push that down a bit in there. Pushing all of that down in there like that. I'm going to smooth this off afterwards. Right. Bring that back out. Do some of this as level terrain. I want to bring up anything that is low down in the middle of this piece right here. So I've got that kind of there, and now I can blend this down. So I want to blend that edge. I definitely want to blend this side over here, like this. And then we blend this edge over here. Let's make that a bit bigger there, and definitely push that down as much as we can around this side. In the field here as well, and now we bring that down, make it a bit smaller. This up here, it doesn't matter too much. If this is rough, because this is kind of like the edge. But this bit here, this we do need to be able to climb up and out. But we also want to be able to do stuff from our own, from the lane going up there. So we've kind of like got to work on some compromise here. So now if we go into decoration, we can take our large gate. Actually, we're going to take some fence first. That's going to go down that hill now. Am I done with the terraforming? Yes. 
I'm done with the terraforming. So that's going to go over to there. We then have our gate. And I want the gate opening outwards. So the gate is going to go... There, like that, on that side of the field. We will demolish that one and that one. And then we will take this and we will join those two together up there. And then that is going to sort of come out that way and is going to join in there as well. So there's the... Did that a little bit wrong? No, actually, no, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Because what we've got, the gate then swings back open. There's room for it to swing back open. Right in here without it sort of interfering with anything there. And I, I've got this gate swinging outwards, haven't I? I suppose really I should have... No, I do want it swinging that way. Yes, I want that gate swinging outwards here rather than in. I think that would be better for this one. It's always a bit of a... You know, you're you never quite sure which you should use. So we'll go painting in here. And this is going to definitely be done with... The muddy grass texture just here a bit around the gateway. And then going over to there. Like that. And now, I always sort of flicks back through. Okay, so there's another little bit of sculpting that I want to do just here. So I'm going to kind of want to... That's as small as it goes. I want to push that down a little bit just back there. Try and... This is not going to work very easily. I've got to kind of step this a bit. There, that's better. It's a bit better, I think. I really don't like that the smoothing function won't raise the ground. It only pushes ground down. That's a big shortcoming of the smoothing function, as far as I'm concerned. I really, really don't like that it now only does that. But we, I mean, there are ways to work around it. I just wish that I didn't have to take a load of time to work around it. That's, that's all I'd really like. All right, we've, we've kind of done that bit. Uh, I can add in a little bit of grass covering over that bank like that. And there'll be a bit more going around there. We'll also add a bit more here. This gateway is not one that will be used very often. It's just going to be used a little bit. But I do want a gateway there. So I've got one up here. The only other bit that I would want to terraform there, actually, sculpting here, is just... I don't know. It's not actually allowing me to. I think that's because we've got the fence around there. I was just thinking there's a little bit right there that looks like it's standing a bit too proud. I don't think that's too bad. Because of where I've got the gate and everything, it doesn't want me to. So I don't need one over here anyway. We, we don't need to do that. So uh, we go back into decoration and we'll go to our fence and we can carry on with our fence line that we were building down through here. And this one is going to sort of... One around like this. And we're going to have a really wide verge on this one. It's going to come down through here. Pretty much following along from where I did the mowing. We'll keep it out like that. So there's a wide verge there that is owned by the local municipality. Local council. Bring you down this way. Like that. It's quite a normal thing. It's, it's not an unusual thing to have something like this. Right, so now I've got this bit down the end, which means that I now need to have another gateway. And really, I'd like to have this gateway opposite right here. Now, this one... 
I don't know whether to have this one inside, you know, pointing in or pointing out. Can I change it around? I don't think I can. I don't think I can... I can't rotate. I'd have to start the gate from the other side. So if I pop that one there... And then if I go here and I bring that one... Kind of over there. So that's going on around that way. And then I go demolish and remove the gate. And then I can put the gate back. I can put the gate on that side. Oh, that's why. Right, demolish. I've got to remove that bit. I think the only way I can do this is if I do it like that. Put the gate out there and then go here like this and put a short piece in. Distance too short. It's not going to like that. So we need to kill that piece off there and then there we go drop that out drop that into there now I need to so I've sort of got this rounded bit that one's going to drop in there and then it's going to be a straight line all the way up to the top so zoom out and all the way back in again and then that one will go up to there like that and there we have our fenced field. Now, there's more still that I want to do. To start off with, I want to paint this back in. And I want to paint this back in with normal grass like this. Like that. I want to paint that back in with green grass. And then I also want to actually paint in the grass plants in underneath that. So I'm going to keep this on quite a wide sweep like this. And I'm going to go all the way round where I've just gone and done this. And then we'll do... So if I just show you very quickly what I'm doing. So we're going to go like that. And uh, we'll just go with the grass. Essentially just going to paint it like this. Now, if I paint there, it just paints over where the um, soil is on the ground anyway. So then I'm just going to go along and I'm going to paint under the fence like that all the way through in a strip. And we'll leave grass. I won't bother with doing the bushes and stuff this time. Because I want to hurry up and get this done. So I'm going to crack on and do this a minute. With the fence going all the way around our property, around our field like this, the hired help will work quite a bit better, I think, to sort of stay within the bounds of what we're doing. I'm going to leave that strip in the middle there where we cut, just to see how it sort of goes with it. So we'll leave the grass there around the bit that we did there. And then I'm also going to just leave that alone on that bit. Here I ran the fence along the edge of what I've cut. So I'm also going to leave that. I'm not going to do any changes there. The only change that I will make down here is... I'm going to switch over to this one. So here's our gateway right here. We will actually turn this into a usable gateway. So we will go straight across the road right here. Like this. Um, I will kind of just do a little bit out to the side there. I'm also going to do this going into the field a bit like that. And then we'll see where we get with the plow. Because you wouldn't really go right back into this corner. Like this corner you, you wouldn't do a lot with it. So like we could put... A few shrubs and stuff down here in this corner, and you wouldn't really be going into that. Put a little bit of grass there on the edge so that the shrubs are sort of back a little bit, and we'll do that. Yeah, like this. I don't think I need to do much else here. The only, let's, let's do one more bit. One more little bit. there. 
just making this a little bit less ground that's hardly driven on, a little bit more ground that's used more frequently. Like that. That's a good compromise there. Okay. That's all done. I've been sat here for ages using up all of the fuel. So we won't be wanting to come all that far into the field. I do kind of like... Uh, I want a little bit of a boundary near the fence. I would guess something like that. Uh, we'll lower that one down. I've enabled the create field. This plow is going to be a genuine struggle for this tractor, I think. It's a seven-furrow reversible plow, which is a very big plow to run. And I'm also ploughing up the steep hill, which is another challenge. So I'm not going to go... I'm not going to hug the fence tight either. I think that's just going to look a little bit ridiculous if I get too tight to the to the hedge, uh, to the fence. Um, I mean, I could go uh, just a smidgen tighter than that. I won't, though. I think it will end up looking a bit better like this because I'd like to go back at a later date. Maybe when we're doing some work with the hired help somewhere, we can go back along and we can do some more work to hedgerows and stuff like that. Because we have the free landscaping, it means that we can just make the hedgerows look how we want them to look. And that's one of the great advantages of free landscaping. I, I really like this idea of the free landscaping that we're doing for this series. I think it's going to end up making it look really good. Um, it's going to end up benefiting us quite a lot. So we'll get to about here. And I want to make the edge of the field kind of curved. I'll bring that one over like that. Oh, we haven't got anything to gather stones out of the field. That's the one thing that I haven't got is a stone picker. I've got the ability to go and buy one eventually if I want to. We've got some more trees up there that we can use for a, a bit of an extra cash injection. Let's move this one over a little bit. We'll bring it back kind of like that, I think there. That'll be alright. Okay, we'll run the tractor along here like this. Doesn't matter if the edge is not perfectly straight along here. It's not going to be perfectly straight along... It's only up the side of the hill that I kind of wanted it perfectly straight. I just thought it would look better. And you can see from the mini-map, I am in a little bit from our overall bank. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.